Welcome to a brand new video. I'm Alex and a PJ Golf Professional and we are on a new hole today. Have a look at this. 18th at Mottram Hall. What a finisher. Par five. For you longer hitters, you may be able to get close into, but it's still a great hole. Ad plays a three shotter. It, it's just too risky. Okay, so this is a great question. This comes in from Lee Bridgewood. Alex, how do I get more consistency in my strike? And how do I take it to the golf course? Now, when I see top pros on tour, they make this right elbow move on the way down. But I want to show you how you do it, but then what simple way you can take it to the golf course with your driver, with your irons, and just start crunching it. Let's go. Right, let's talk about this right elbow move. Now, this a first thing that I want you to do in terms of setup that's going to help you. So just to give you a bit of background on this, I see a lot of golfers work down like this. Right elbow comes off the side of the body, no real power, no real drive. And also we swing a little bit over the top. Now there's a little hack it set up you can make. So just address the golf ball with driver. Now you know ball position, you know how your shoulders should set, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to imagine you're giving blood, okay? So look where sort of my arm is here. This is where you'd give blood. So just come here and, and have a look where I am there. Okay. I then all I want you to do is feel as though you hold where your elbow is, but you twist your hand over and then take hold of the golf club. What this is doing is this is allowing your arm to be in a much better situation to be folding. If you're holding the golf club with your arm out here already, well, what's this encouraging? It's, it's making it harder. So nice and simple. The first stage, give blood, hold the elbow, turn the hand over, and now in a really good situation to help this downswing move. Okay, down the line now, this is a key area. What is a great way and what, what's the move we're looking for in this downswing? Well, your elbow position at address is really gonna help you, but what I'm wanting you to feel is, whilst maintaining your posture, can we feel as though we're driving our right elbow closer to our left? as a right-handed player. If you're left-handed, it'll be left to right. Right elbow, closer to left. Watch this. Up, right elbow, closer to left. Now look what this is doing to my shaft. I'm shallowing it, I'm getting it to drop into the slot. I'm really getting this position right here, and this is like sort of that Ben Hogan move, isn't it? It's not up here, it's really in. Now the great thing is, when I get people to come for me for a lesson, I put them in this position, and I like throw their club head and they're like, whoa, how much more speed, how much more consistency? Because all it's doing, it's allowing you, okay? It's allowing you to move and rotate around yourself. So the way I explain it is it's like you're losing an arm wrestle as you start down. Imagine I was wrestling you here, right? I'd be working that way. I don't want that. I want to be losing the arm wrestle as we start our downswing. Like this, just put it in the right hand, like. Lose the arm wrestle. That is exactly how you want it to move. And let's put a slow-mo over that now. Like, as you look at this slow-mo, you can see how my right elbow is working where, closer to my where my left would be. I'm closing that face, I'm shallowing that club, I'm releasing it through. And we all know that's the route to consistency. So another drill for you is this, and I, I like this one. So we will finish off by giving you a simple feeling to take to the course. That's vital, because that's what Lee asked. But uh, yeah, let's show you this next drill. Now, there's many drills. This one might resonate more with you than the first one. Just grip it in the middle of the shaft. Also, the picture of Bryson, I'll put it on here, um, had the operation. Will he make it back for the open? I'm not sure. I don't get why we didn't, he didn't do this sort of, and he said it in his tweet, like why he didn't do this operation earlier and, and be ready for the season. So all you're going to do, I want you to, if you go straight in front of me here, this is great and I love this perspective, I want you to go right elbow closer to left, I want you to practice getting that butt of the club to point way to the right because we're so often getting it pointing way to the left. This is the move, boom, boom, pointing to the right of target. That's exactly how you can do that. Try each one of those drills. This is how I'm gonna get you to take it to the golf course. And all I want you to feel is that imagine you've got a ball between your elbows, okay? 
as you're swinging or as you're starting in transition, make it as smooth as you dare, okay, smooth as you dare, and feel as though you're squeezing that ball right to left. Squeezing that ball right to left, nice and simple. And that's how you take any sort of swing thought to the golf course. A simple analogy, something you can try, feel, test, and use. Oh my Lord. And you can just pose it, hold it, no matter if you're hitting an iron or a driver, boom. Thanks so much for watching.